All right, guys, a real quick video. This is the Kenmore. They kind of have a little pause play button, and it had a bad crack. You can actually still see it through the patch I put on right here, where the drum was shaking a lot from these. I haven't replaced them yet. I'm about to. And these springs going out, and someone left it running for too long with probably too much weight, and it eventually hit the back wall and cracked the back wall. Usually, it's a throwaway, but I started doing this, and it uh, seems to be working well. I made this patch out of another drum that I had. They're all about the same size. It's actually a different type of machine, but the curve is about the same. I just cut it with a reciprocate and saw, cut a section out of it. Now I'll bring it over here. Silicone really well, so it has a nice silicone seal against it. Screw it onto the other piece of plastic. Use enough screws. Silicone each screw. Go to the back side. Silicone the back side of each screw. Silicone around where the actual hole was on the back side, and then I silicone the edge. So it's as as sealed as it could possibly be because it will be getting water up to about this point which would be over that hole which was what the original problem was to start with but that is one way to fix it if uh, you come across this problem instead of just throwing it out and you have another plastic drum that you can uh, replace it with make a little shield out of you can probably do it with a flat piece this is just a million times easier with another piece of drum it's the right thickness of plastic and it's already curved so it really wants to fit on there perfectly it doesn't uh doesn't really require a lot of curve into the plastic or hoping it doesn't straighten itself out and start leaking here. and i have the lid unhooked already so we so we can actually open this and check it out it's working it's not dripping the seal is holding this back piece was broken a little bit, but I just recreated a lip with silicone. That's for is where the pour valve comes in. If it accidentally hits there, it won't spill over. So just recreate that with a little bit of silicone. Sometimes you have to replace these because they'll be broken to pieces. There won't be anything left to hook back on. But that's it. Let know I did finish up. This machine has not been cleaned or painted yet, but I haven't put that tray back in yet. But I put the inner drum back in, I put the agitator back in, and uh, ran it through a test. I actually ran it through two tests, and no leaking at all. So that does work. Uh, things you're going to need if you want to do this. 7 sixteenths is what this one was. Sometimes they're different to take the agitator out after that. There's this tool of uh, drum remover. I can't remember exactly. I'm sure it has another name. But you're going to need this to be able to take the inner drum out you have to loosen a nut that's on top that this hooks onto and a hammer and some silicone i had some pliers for a little bit to move some stuff around that's about it if you guys have any questions please put them in the comments below if you like this video and helped you please press the like button